What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. I'm with Mike, as always, and we're talking yes. Season 3, Episode 6, Black Wind Howls into the Badlands. Yes, yes. What's up, Mike? How'd you like this episode? I, uh, I Not my favorite by far, mm-hmm. but uh, I mean, I like the, the sunny stuff, obviously. We're getting more of um, his backstory a bit, and uh, um, it's... You know, we spoke about a few episodes back when when um, Baji saved that one girl. Remember, I was saying maybe they'll be like his love interest or something. Yeah. Obviously, um, that that didn't happen just yet. But we find out his prior love interest, which was Baji's ex wife, which was Lily. Eh, so so about she's a, that. She's a know? smuggler. She's Han Solo. Yeah, I wasn't so. I wasn't. You weren't into it. It's not that I wasn't into it. I didn't necessarily like her acting job. That I don't, there was just something that I don't know. Flat it just, for you? Yeah, it wasn't um, because all the characters. My favorite. Because all because a lot of the character, you know, you know, pretty much all these characters have a very unique aspect. Like they have, they're very unique, you know. And yeah, and well, you know. I, I don't know. I just feel like she didn't do uh, the greatest job. Now I don't know if that's necessarily maybe just the writing or whatever. You know, her lines. Maybe right. I mean, really, she didn't have anything too too uh, in depth. Really, there was a little moment with her and Baji when they were drinking and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was just like, "Oh, you're an asshole," kind of a thing. It's, it's not anything substantial. So I don't know. Maybe I'm. She'll be around, so maybe it'll get better. But um, what yeah. do you think about because? I mean, oh, yeah, it, oh, might, it oh. might, it might, it might be, it might be just the situation. You yeah, know, I mean, we it, just situations only saw a like that. Her, she, so. she's, she's the, you know, she's the catalyst for things to happen. You know, yeah. without her, how would this, how are they going to get the River King in there? You know, like yeah, well, how that, are they, how is that going to all happen? Because that's the whole point. You know, listen, mm-hmm. not for nothing, but you, sometimes you have to have these middle episodes. Yeah, and we haven't really had one yet. In in my opinion, we're six episodes in, and you know they've been cruising right along, giving us all this stuff. Now we got a lot of stuff in this episode, a lot of stuff yeah. in this episode. You know, I'm I just actually being, I'm just being being no, a no, little bit. Picky I with, uh, listen. I'm, all, but... I I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you on that. I don't think she. I, I don't think that character was the strongest in this episode. Yeah, I don't know. especially meeting a new character like that. I I, I mm-hmm. get you. I understand. Uh, yeah, I, you just said it. You said it right. On, you know, you hit the nail on the head. It's just we've gotten so many really cool characters, and she by far is not one of my She's favorites. Not the but strongest. Yet, remember, right. Ankara did say that there's a reason that Baji and Sunny are together. Now right, there's right, a reason right. that they found this Lily. You right. know, because she's the one that'll bring them to where they need to be and I want out with the River King and stuff. Right. And we'll get back to the River King in a second. But before we get to the yeah. boat, I want to talk about the fight scene. First of all, I we open up and we're in this place is called Black Wind. All right. It's it's the trading hub. It's it's the, you know, a CD, a CD town, black market, whatever they, they, you know, they have these things. I thought that that game that Lily was playing when we meet her, that's a really that's a really wicked take on uh, russian roulette like yeah. that's just a really cool thing you know dude the costume mm-hmm. design is off the chain this season yeah. like everybody looks different like yeah i mean they look the same like they have a very the same aesthetic like they're this all is from the that world. same world but they're it's very, very good almost it's like splitting it's everybody steam, up. it's like i won't say steampunk but it's very like apocalyptic victorian you know yeah. very that's, very cool and yeah. um okay so yeah there was Early on, there was a couple things when he says, "Hold on, Henry." I like the line. However, I'm like, "Why you would like? What if? What if Henry got kicked in the back? Like, what if? What if Sonny got I'm kicked not, in the back? He got kicked he's in gonna, Sonny. He's gonna get a I mean, concussion in, before. You have to worry about the concussion that he's gonna cause. He's a by, little baby. Yeah, you're not gonna want to throw him around like. <laughs> Don't worry that. about the black gift, uh, the dark gift, and getting him cured from that. He's gonna have to, you know, he's gonna crush his little head. Yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, we talked about this. It was a bit ridiculous with that. That was, I mean, I wrote that and and yeah, I wasn't a fan that of that. Times, you know, I but, was like, oh, that was you could have like, I know you didn't want to put him down, but like, I thought that might have been just a you little. Could. That, that oh, was a little course. too much for me. You know, you like, know what's funny? I always, I, 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 said this after season two, after Vale was 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 killed, Vail. and we, 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 we said oh, that when Vale Vail. and Quinn were dead and. No, but we, we talked about now what's what's in it for Sonny. Sonny's going to need somebody to protect this kid, right? We sort of maybe uh, theorized that maybe Lydia would do it. or No, we were so I mean? wrong on that, dude. It was all, well, it's all I mean, him, man. 
right? So that's that that proves this proves my point that there needs to be somebody to protect Henry right. in these situations because yeah. until that happens, take Henry. You know? We're gonna have a lot of ass. Henry in the backpack um, in the middle of a fight. I know. I, th- so that part was a little wild. Although, but but like around it was great. Like he's like, you're gonna help me, and he's like, mm, I'm gonna take yeah, a shot. He's and he's, he's like, now you can help yeah. me now. Like I like I love I love their back and forth. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh god, it's, yeah. You know, beigey, whatever. And he's like, so yeah. you can help me. Um, you said you didn't like the the fighting with the fish and the and the, no, and the, and the octopus the eel and everything and the, like that, dude. It, it, See, I liked it. I because I was like, this is fun. This is like a really fun because it reminded me of all the kung fu movies I used to watch when I was a kid. All the Jackie Chan movies, you know, yeah. like they're just fun. I, I get it was that. fun. I thought it was fun. I enjoyed. I get that. it. I get it. Listen, and Beijing's not a guy that fights with weapons per se. Like he's just wacky. He's the. I don't want to say comic relief, but he's the you know he's the the lightness uh, of. I mean, I think he very much is the comic relief, but he has well, he has yeah. different his. He has a different set of skills too, because he can give you that, that that comic, you know, that the comedy part of it. But right, he also yeah. can fight. Uh, listen, I don't like I said earlier. I don't want to get like I'm picking on the episode. I really did enjoy the episode. No, but there's things you don't like. There's things you don't like. It, it, you I know, just, you can't it didn't like work everything. for me. You can't it didn't like work everything. For me. Yeah, it didn't work for me. I just thought that slapping the guy with the fish and stuff like that, and I don't know. I didn't necessarily. I think, think this was... episode. Listen, I think this episode had a, a couple of. It had a bunch of things that were mm-hmm. maybe where you and I are considering out of place because out of, either out of character or out of place. And that's and that's fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, they, look, there's probably tons of writers on these shows. And keeping everything, keeping the storyline straight, especially when you have new characters and and you're trying to move a story to a certain place like Yeah. You know, yeah, it's it it's I, it's rough. It's rough. I I found that fun. I thought the uh the urchins when Lee uh slammed that, that was guy's cool. head on there. That was I mean, cool. That was cool. You that know, cool. fighting the fight on the boat after the River King, when she turns on them and the River King shows up, dude, when he yeah. when he skeered that guy's neck and used him as a shield, oh my like, god, right? brutal, brutal, yeah. brutal, yeah. like fucking chop the other guy's head off, and yeah, he's not I, playing. You when know, it comes I did. To yeah, well, he's, Henry and, and yeah, but that's what I'm saying though. Like you fight like that, and then you have Henry on your back when you're fighting. But all right, yeah. but yeah, past that. What I liked was that Sonny got his butt kicked a little bit in this. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that like, one particular. It, it, yeah, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta show. The hero takes some licks because otherwise, mm-hmm. then 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 he's Superman, and then what's the point, you know? Yeah, no, I agree with that. So the River King knows where he's going, and he's gonna help. Yo, he scars the River King. That's so sick. Yeah, that was pretty like, badass. You know, like I liked it. They they let Sonny be mad. He's like, I'm fucking mad. I'm gonna, you, you you're done. You're done, bro. You know, like we're done. You know, yeah. and, and he yeah he saved his own neck, the River King, but. I like it, man. I just like that. I like, yes, yeah, Sonny's mad. Let him be mad. Let him kick some ass, you know? Yeah, well, we, we, we've we've said that. He has his only, you know, his number one reason for living right now is Henry and getting him to where he needs to get him to to, to Pilgrim. You know what I mean? It's 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 how they got that captured in the first place, you know, with Lily and, and mm-hmm. double-crossing them. But, I mean, it was cool to get a little bit of the backstory and how, how Baji and Lily met. Um, they were, they I like kind of, Baji was a pirate and all this kind yeah, of thing. I like that, man. And, no, I like that too. I like Baji's, um, I like his back. I like getting a backstory on him because he's mysterious yeah, to me still. Like we don't know. Like yeah. he's been, he's done a lot, you know, he lost his gift. He was trained by the Abbots. Like, you know, yeah. and you know, and, and it doesn't matter. Like he was trained by the Abbots. So, you know, you got to imagine like, he's just, he's a good fight. doesn't matter how big you are. He still has that muscle memory. He still has mm-hmm. the ability, you know I mean? I think yeah. it's, I think it's, it's, it's silly, but fun when they have him doing flips, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's, listen, that's not, a, not, it's not unrealistic because look at the wrestlers we have, dude. Yeah. You know, we used oh. to watch wrestling. When we were younger, right? Dude, yeah. those men are huge, and they're flipping around and doing it. So to me, it's not like it's unreal. I I remember in no, like I mean they, they, that's one thing that the show is really good at. They're good with that acrobatic wire work for the most part. Um, <laughs> certain characters I think do it a little bit better because remember in the I think it was the first episode with Moon and yeah and um, the Widow that they whole kind of crouching tiger hidden little, dragon yeah yeah it looked a little um so like suspect that, but I like that though the, for the most part the show hits it out of the park when it comes to um yeah we that, got a bunch I, of fun and we got you know sunny and beige they fought a lot this one so yeah. sunny's sunny's having these you know he, he's if something's loose and h- how do you feel about the fact that that's the same boat 
That that ties to my point earlier about how Ankara says that everything is supposed. This is this is meant to be like you're supposed to. Mean, oh yeah, mean, okay. So it's yeah, there's all a right. reason. So, yeah, yeah so there's I a get reason you now. for. Yeah. It's it's like prophesized. So there's definitely. I like that. Though. I like that. It's I like, I like the it. undertone. I mean, I like it that too. I like it too. They're supposed to be together instead of them just. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So I mean, whoever, look, whoever is on. Uh, that's going on this journey with with Sonny to get from A to B is is there for a reason. Yeah. So the River King, even though he was going to kill them, he's there for a reason now because without him, they might not be able to find Pilgrim and all this kind of stuff. So that stuff is, excuse me, that stuff is interesting. Um, probably the most interesting part of the episode mm -hmm. um, is that whole stuff and, and how since it's almost like I think Baji even says it like like what what did that witch do? Did she awaken or something? He, she, he said something like, like that along loose, those lines. Yeah, so now he's kind of like, yeah. yeah, he's awoken almost to that. Well, he's getting there. Yeah, he's going to. So we're yeah, finding he's more, getting stuff more out, and man. more memories coming back to him. I like and it, I, man. You know, yeah, that's going like to that. that's going to continue. I mean, that's going to continue more and more. Um but uh, where do you want to lead? I mean, well, I mean, I, I, we have some stuff with I, Tilda I, and Lydia. That yeah, I, I want to talk about that a second. You know, she's so you know, Odessa's Odessa's out. She bounced because she's like, I don't know, man. I think so. Look, sometimes you got to get characters where they need to be. I think that Odessa leaving didn't have to happen, but they used. I think I feel like it's a device just to get. Tilda's blood flow into a point where she's like, all right, I need to do something. She goes and she visits the 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 refugee camp again and the yeah. woman's yelling at her saying like, you know what, we need protection. This is BS. Yeah. She goes to to uh, the widow, to Minerva, and she, you know, and I will say this. I like that Minerva still really cares for her. You know, I like that. And, and every time, I don't know if you've noticed, but I feel like every time they're together, she tries to reach out to her either with a touch or with her words. And she's always like, stop, no, no, mm -hmm. no. And she says, look, no, we're yeah. going to, we're either going to, we're going to fight together as enemies or friends or allies. That's it. That's what this is. What do you want? She's like, well, allies yeah. then, you know, so, you know, but then, but then the widow, you know, she, she lets, she, you know, she tells, she tells Caster, you know, listen, MK can't be trusted, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, to me, I'm thinking like, oh man, that's going to sow some, some bad shit with when he gets back to them and she goes up to him and they, and you know, whatever. And then her spot gets blown up, which was crazy. Yeah. You know, Cressida, Cressida is like, you had, and everyone's like, wait, wait, wait what? What? Yeah. You saw Tilda's face. She was like, say yeah. what now? Yeah. I mean, the only one that knew, well, none of them knew, right? Well, Beijing M knew. MK didn't Beijing know. Knew. I mean, people that were there. Yeah. Oh, there. No, MK didn't know. Yeah. MK didn't. Did he? Know the... Does he? I don't, I don't think so. Does I think it matter Baji, if he knows. I don't know. He no, looked. No, I, I thought he looked surprised. So I don't know. A, a bit. Yeah. You know. It's. Um, listen. T number one for the widow is still to defeat Chow, um, and of course she realizes well, that. Yeah, she's, she's Hilda is. You know what I mean? Is is uh, would be a big part of it and getting. Um, yeah, but she's gonna and, she's gonna double defeating. cross Pilgrim too. She said it. Once she defeats Chow, she's going to use Chow's army to defeat Pilgrim. To defeat Pilgrim. Yeah. So she. Yeah. So she has her. She has her agendas. You know. It's so weird because I don't know who to like. Part of me wants to team with the widow, but part of me kind of wants to team with Pilgrim. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't really want to. You know, I'm not too in, in involved with Chow, so I'm not really. You know, I yeah. don't really care about her she's part. Kinda... You no, know, it's it's but it's like that's I don't know great. who to root for. You know what I'm saying yeah, in that they, battle. You can see the good and bad, and we we've mentioned this. Yeah, you, you can see both sides of each character, and um, I mean, besides Sonny being the you know the good old boy, there's there's a, a fine line between uh, good and bad with Pilgrim and and Widow because you can feel for both of them. You know what I mean? So um, you know, I, it's when getting to Lydia quick. The thing with with her is Tilda's taking her advice and really believing it. Odessa doesn't really necessarily get it, yeah. isn't taking it. So that's 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 just shooting back to well, that. Odessa, that's why look, Odessa's leaving and Tilda can still see. Listen, this this woman's been around. It's bigger she's, than me. This is bigger smart. than my than my relationship with this yeah. woman, right? But yeah. here's here's the thing: keeping characters on point. Odessa's always been a selfish piece of crap. That's that's it. 
That's it. She is. She's a selfish piece of crap. Done. She's Mm -hmm. like, even if it means losing me, like, bitch, are you serious? There's more going on than than your little feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people are dying around you, and you're like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. And what are you gonna go do, idiot? What are you gonna go do? Anyway, exactly. I don't want to talk about it. Yes. Um, Pilgrim, man, chewing out Cressida. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that was cool. We we find out. You know, he's like, Cassa says to the widow, I've seen him level cities, you know? With just his words, he said. With just his words. And she's like, uh, it, it, it didn't hurt that he had two dark ones with him. Yeah. Like, she called him on his shit, too. Yeah. Because don't forget, he's a, he's a zealot, you know? So he's going to he's gonna, he's gonna tout Pilgrim's power, you know, day and night, you know, without fault. But, you know, so that's something very interesting. Like, is 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 he that? powerful we don't know and he keeps saying he keeps saying he's my kin he's my kin you know and we'll, we'll we'll see what happens with my kin when he gets here what does that mean what is who is sunny to to pilgrim you know though these these are these are things they're obviously going to get but you know well it's it's like i said it's the prophecy kind of a thing i mean obviously we're going to sit there and we're going to say that they're not blood related or anything like that but it's it's say say um if you're religious or anything like that, God, oh, yeah. where all the children and all this kind of, it's, it's one of those kind of metaphorically speaking kind of a thing. I'm not so sure. I think it has to do with what Sonny is. I think it's a little more than that. I think it's more than just, like I said, well, last week, you know, it's or not, anything like that. No, no, not. I don't mean, yes, I don't mean the blood yeah. brothers. I mean, yeah. he has whatever Sonny has in him. Pilgrim has too. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I think. I'm still getting that vibe that he senses the same in him that's why he's calling him brother that's why he's calling him kin that's why he says if that's gonna be my death because crescent is saying you know sonny's sonny can come here and kill you and he's like well if my if 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 that if my you know death comes from my kin basically yeah. so be it i have this to worry about right now well uh, it, go, it goes on his happens. belief it goes that pilgrim feels um you know that this is a meant to be kind of a thing uh, as far as what's inside, I don't think that um, you know Pilgrim's already said I was I'm not worth I wasn't lucky enough to have the gift. So obviously, as far as a gift part of it, they they're they're not the but same. So, no, he's yeah, it's word. definitely something. But different, in the yeah. bigger picture, which we don't know yet what that is, they're supposed to be side by side. Or I mean, so maybe it's maybe all... he's maybe okay. So you know who Cloak and Dagger are. It's a new show actually coming out on Freeform yeah. uh, very soon. This this like week I think, but uh, it's Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. These Dagger are these two kids. This the, the, this girl has the ability to produce light daggers, like she can harness light, and then the boy can harness the darkness and move through shadow and stuff. Right. So yeah. maybe it's something like that. Maybe maybe Sunny's the dark and. Um, and he's the light, the counterpart to Sonny's. Because yeah, I agree. The gift, the people who, the dark ones themselves are just tools. Okay? So yeah. I, this is how I'm seeing this whole mystical, the mysticism at this point. Mm-hmm. You have the dark ones, the blessed ones, right? Yeah. They're the, they're the tools. They can harness that power in a very specific way, and those and people use them as weapons, right? Mm-hmm. Then you have someone like, almost the shepherds of the of the gift maybe a light and a dark and maybe sunny has the dark and pilgrim has the light and if yeah. that's the case i like that so much because pilgrim again is he good is he bad he's a good guy he's a bad guy he's 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 at odds with the other characters who we we may or may not consider good or bad guys already right yeah but the fact that if he has the light version or the light ability to shepherd right and then sunny who's our hero has the dark like that's a that's a dichotomy that i absolutely love that i've never it's, seen it's done the, before it's the power of the I'm schwartz loving it yeah. right yeah but that's i'm saying two, two, our two, two, good two, guy two, has the dark side short. and the quote-unquote bad guy has the light let's, side let's see that's uh, interesting it's very it is, interesting it is very it is very interesting but the thing is we we only know of uh, like MK has the dark gift, and we know we now know that Sunny has the, uh, the dark gift. But there's something special about Sunny, so let's see. Well, if that's he my has point. We don't know that Sunny. We don't know that Sunny is. I'm I'm saying the gift is more than just that. Obviously, yeah, no, that's what but I'm saying. I also. think Sunny has more than just what MK and Nixon oh, I agree. Have. I agree. They only have yeah. the ability to harness it 
mm-hmm. and it and it drains their life force. That's the only ability they have. Whereas Pilgrim and Sunny are the shepherds. They're a ab- step above. They're great above yeah. that and have yeah. the ability to control. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get to it, man. Mm. Well, first off, I'm so happy. Like I really enjoyed the fact that Pilgrim knew who samurai were. You know what I mean? And yeah. the, and the Bushido code. That's the code. Of, Liam. You know, that's the code that the samurai take, right? Yeah. And you know, I I enjoyed that so much. You know, and he's like the black, the men who wore that armor, and he goes to that whole thing. I loved it. I loved it. Um, and you know, Caster, I did not see that coming. I did I didn't, not yeah, see I that. Didn't see. I mean, I didn't know what was going to happen. I assumed he was going to pass i guess but i man didn't see that coming maybe he feels like that he, he's a liability to a degree well yes um, that's the whole point and he you know, understands he's and, and he he's, listen what's the reason he came into the room anyway because mk and and caster had this rift they were they were fighting a bit and you know what i mean so we always seen cressida watching and we've seen um, oh Pilgrim. yeah, so it's it's, it's assumed and that Pilgrim always, was already creeping out the door, right? Yeah, exactly. Assume, so there's a reason. That last time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so Pilgrim had to. Uh, I think he realized maybe not. You know, maybe not before he saw that between MK and and, and Caster, but after seeing this, I just feel like he just you know that that was it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was but sad. It was, it, it was it saddened me. I felt know. I felt bad for Pilgrim because Pilgrim really does yeah. care for. Mm-hmm. He called him his son. I mean, he, yeah. he went to get him and he's just like, you know, out on the field, he was like, give me my son. He's like, I'm not going to ask again. Like it, but there was something behind that, you know, listen, yeah. man, I love that guy. That guy's a great actor. I really enjoyed mm-hmm. his speech in the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I, like the, uh, yeah, I like, I like, I like the mm-hmm. character. I like it. I yeah. just, and I'm, and I'm not big on preachy characters. You know, and I they're keeping the preaching to a minimum and I like he has, it. A, he has a presence about him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's uh you know, that's that's what he and he, he can portray that well with his with his preach and yeah. all this kind of stuff. Look, yeah. I think they're all in for an upset anyway. I think everything they believe in is bullshit anyway. I think what they believe in is not what they think it is. And so um I th- I still think there's something, you know. I, I think know. there's something to Listen, I'm, dude, I'm whatever tell you. it is, there's something else that Crescent is Crescent is seeing something in order for her to to, to predict that Sonny's you know that Sonny's coming. I think they're two different and, things. I think this well, Azra thing and all of the is. gifts and all that mysticism, I mm-hmm. think they're two separate things. And I would love it if it turns out that this thing that they've been searching for just doesn't exist. I'd love that. I would love it. They'd they'd all be floored. They'd be like, wait, what? How about now they're left on their own? Everyone digging. How about they don't find anything? Well, that's my point. Like they just find, they just find, they find out that is nothing. Anyway, hey, good look, good, good stuff. Listen, they can't all be home runs. This did have, yes, you know that 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 stuff was a little weak at that. Some there were some wacky things. Just that beginning part. Just that beginning little uh, that initial. I'm very mixed on it because I really enjoyed the fighting. I enjoyed the, the the silliness to it. I I really liked it. Uh, I don't think Lily's the strongest character, but like you said, we you know maybe we'll see a little more because exactly you know I like the River King. I love I love that guy. He's just very unique and I don't he's know. Like, man. He's like creepy that dude. I love it. Oh yeah, now and now he's got a scar. You know, you know? Mm-hmm. he's gonna have a dope scar. Um, yep. Anyway, great great stuff. Um, I'm loving the show. You know, again, man, it, it just it's it it remains to be a fun show. I'm loving what they're giving us more intrigue we posed a lot more questions here you know Absolutely. um and i don't know it's just been good i like it a lot and uh definitely looking forward now the next episode that looks pretty crazy we're gonna get what you know somebody's chasing sunny and the sanctuary goes down if you haven't seen the coming attractions i'm just giving you a little tidbits a little teaser i'm giving you a little a little spice in here <laughs> you know Spicing yeah, well, we might get a we we gonna get a little more uh, yeah. information about how special Sunny is, and that's and that's uh, intriguing to me, and I'm and I'm uh, excited about uh, I'm always excited on, on you know these Sundays yep. to to watch the show. So, um, guys, let us know in the comment section below uh, what you guys thought of the episode. Put it, put down your comments, your theories, anything about the show. Uh, check us out at Third Person Pod, of course, on Instagram and on Facebook, and have a listen to us uh, on iTunes as well. 
So that is going to do it for this episode of Third Person Podcast, Talking Into the Badlands, Episode 6, Season 3, Black Wind Howls. It was good stuff. Thank you guys very much for all the support, all the comments. Keep them coming. Keep loving the show. Tell people about this show. And go watch our Westworld videos if you ha- if you don't. Sure. Because those are, cause that's another good show that we're absolutely digging right now. So that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Everybody supporting. We love you. We'll see you in the next episode.